The battle tank is the main combat unit of the ground forces in the world. Let's review what technology has reached the development of such combat weapons. 1. PL-01 The PL-01 first of all surprised everyone with its futuristic exterior view when it was presented at the International Defense Industry Exhibition in Kyotse on September 2, 2013. The layout of the tank only superficially resembles modern main battle tanks. The driver is in the front and the remote control turret is at the rear. The PL-01 is based on the chassis of the Swedish STRF-90 armored vehicle. The tank's armor has a modular ceramic aramid covering designed to provide protection to NATO standard Stanag 4569 Annex A Level 5 Plus to ensure full projectile projection. The tank is equipped with a 940 HP diesel engine, torque converter, automatic transmission, and driving assistance system. Cruising range is 500 km per hour. The vehicle can reach up to 70 km per hour on the highway and 50 km per hour off-road, angles up to 30 degrees, titches and trenches up to 2.6 meters wide, and overcome even water obstacles up to 1.5 meter deep without preparation and up to 5 meter width. All major weapons of the PL-01 are designed according to all NATO standards, such as the 105 or 120 millimeter caliber gun mounted in a remotely controlled turret which can fire both conventional rounds and anti-tank guided missiles. The automatic reloading system has a rate of fire of 6 rounds per minute. The ammunition is 45 rounds, 16 of which are in slots inside the turret, ready to be fired and the rest are stored in the chassis compartment. The tank is also armed with a 7.62mm UKM-2000C machine gun with 1,000 rounds of ammunition. In addition, the PL-01 will be equipped with fire suppression system in turret and the main body, internal radio, active protection, battlefield management system, cold exhaust system, thermal camouflage, and ventilation filters. And the design of the crew seats ensures that the physical effects of the blast wave are minimized. Also, it's equipped with a satellite navigation system and a friend or foe identification system. In addition to its primary role as a barrier fire, this tank can also be manufactured as a command and control vehicle, a BMP or a demining unit. 2. Griffin 3 this project is intended as a light tank as the various examples of the Griffin family have a similar layout with a foreign engine compartment and a central fighting compartment. The rear is used for different purposes. In the new Griffin 3, it's used as a place for troopers. The focus on survivability and firepower in the infantry fighting vehicle is one of the key features. The BMP has a frontal unit with a pair of sloping parts. The upper frontal detail along with the sides forms developed supracranial recesses running the entire length of the body. The front part of the tank body is also retained and has a box shape. According to public data, the body provides differentiated protection against numerous threats. The frontal projection withstands small caliber artillery fire. From the other directions, the vehicle is only protected against small arms fire and shrapnel. It was previously claimed that the Griffin light tank had some protection against mines. The engine transmission compartment occupies a solid part of the front of the body, front and starboard side. To its left, the driver's seat, behind is the fighting compartment, after which goes a compartment for troopers. In case the enemy can find the Griffin 3 and make a shot, it's offered to equip it with the Israeli-made Iron Fist light active protection system. The radar stations and launchers of the system must be mounted on different parts of the turret. The General Dynamics Land Systems designers took into account modern trends in the development of light armored vehicles, so the Griffin 3 BMP has a relatively powerful weapon. In the frontal embrasure of the full rotating turret is proposed to install an advanced automatic gun with a caliber of 50 mm, developed by Northrop Grumman. The armored turret's gun mount allows the vehicle to attack the enemy without exposing itself to unnecessary risks increasing its effective range of fire and actually allowing the vehicle to attack different targets in different directions. To demonstrate these capabilities, the maquette cannon was raised almost 90 degrees vertically upwards. This way, the Griffin 3 can fight both ground and air targets. The additional armament mounted on the turrets is standard in modern armored vehicles. The Griffin 3 carries a coke shell machine gun, a remote control module with similar weaponry, and two smoke grenade launcher units. 3. MBT Revolution the German MBT Revolution, or Main Battle Tank Revolution program, increased the performance of the already known Leopard 2 tank during which the new MBT Revolution tank was introduced. The main attention during its creation was paid to counteracting improvised explosive devices and mines. To prevent enemy shells from hitting the tank, the Revolution includes new, rosy smoke grenade launchers capable of firing smoke grenades in any direction, both in manual and automatic modes. 
It's claimed that it takes no more than 0.5 to 0.6 seconds to create a veil of sufficient density, and the chemical composition and physical properties of this smoke allow it to disrupt the attack of almost any existing anti-tank weapon. The Quimic Combat Module is responsible for self-defense in the MBT Revolution Kit. The remotely controlled unit displaced on the turret is a fragmentation fused DM-11 and armor-piercing DM-53. DM-11 also has a delayed detonator. Both of these ammunition are fully compatible with the cannons used on earlier Leopards. The new PLE inert projectile is also worth mentioning. This ammunition doesn't contain a single gram of explosive material. However, when it hits the target, it deforms in such a way that the inside of the projectile, made of relatively soft material, splits into a multitude of fragments flying in one direction only. Rain Metal considers the second phase of electronics upgrade to be more promising. In the long term, the designers even promise fusion of a battle tank and a simulator. A special equipment operation mode will allow by communicating with external computers to perform training firing, target search, etc. Nevertheless, some digital systems will be incorporated in the MBT revolution regardless of the electronics upgrade path chosen. The SEOSS digital fire control system is one of these and also worth mentioning. It includes a TV camera, thermal imager, laser, rangefinder, and calculator. Information on the current combat situation, range to the target, projectile type, etc. is displayed in real time on the monitors of the commander and gunner. Thanks to SEOSS, these crew members only have to monitor the situation, determine the target and how it can be hit. To facilitate the tracking of the situation on the battlefield, the revolution includes the SAS system. Two to four sensors of the system monitor three sectors in the immediate vicinity of the tank at 60 degrees each. The digital turret in the future will enable it to transmit data from SAS to the Quimic weapon module literally at the touch of a button and to engage targets in automatic mode. In addition to all these systems, the commander of the vehicle has the so-called commander's brick. It'll be the first in the world and consists in the fact that the tank commander can stop the movement of the vehicle if the situation requires it. 4. Kaplan MT It's a matter of fact that the Kaplan MT project is based on the desire to create a new armored vehicle devoid of the disadvantages of main battle tanks. An interesting feature of the new project, which distinguishes it from other similar developments, is the approach to the formation of the appearance of the chassis. For some reason, the designers at FNSS and PT Pindat decided to significantly revise the body and layout of the existing BMP, restructuring it in accordance with traditional views of tank design. In the case of the Kaplan 20 BMP and other vehicles of the new family, the front of the body was given to the engine transmission compartment, and in the rear there was a troop compartment. It's also revealed several levels of protection. Provisions were made for the body to have its own armor, apparently with homogeneous protection to withstand frontal projection fire from small caliber guns. On top of the body armor, it's proposed to install additional hinge modules that increase resistance to shells and shape charge ammunition. There is mine protection in the form of beveled side parts of the bottom. The main weapon of the Kaplan MT medium tank is a 105mm rifle gun and launcher. The gun is fitted with an advanced muzzle brake and injector. The barrel is fitted with a heat shield. The gun is compatible with all existing 105mm caliber ammunition for different applications. It is also capable of using several types of guided missiles. The gun is equipped with an automatic loader that feeds unitary rounds from the turret aft. Everything from control of the gun and the automatic loader is done from the crew station. Two sets of optronic systems mounted on the turret roof are proposed for observation, target search and weapon guidance. There is a relatively deep recess at the right side of the turret's front end in which one of the observation devices is located. The second is located on the left side of the U-shaped support, which provides guidance into planes. As can be seen, both are equipped with video cameras, thermal imaging cameras, and laser rangefinders. 5. Ripsaw M5 Textron Systems, the defense division of U.S. industrial conglomerate Textron, has developed the Ripsaw M5 robotic tank with an automatic cannon and two drones on board. The Ripsaw is suitable not only for firing but also for recon missions. The tank is equipped with an observation turret with regular and infrared cameras providing 360-degree view. And it can launch two kinds of drones, the R-80D Sky Raider, which can carry up to 2 kilograms at 50 kilometers per hour and stay in the air for 50 minutes, and the SUGV ground drone with surveillance cameras on an extendable arm that allows you to look out for the bushes and manipulate objects. This robot can even climb stairs, so it can be sent inside a building. 
The Ripsaw has a 600 HP diesel engine, and it has a top speed of up to 100 km per hour. The Ripsaw also carries an MK44 Bushmaster 230mm automatic cannon, effective against unarmored targets, infantry, and vehicles. However, if necessary, it can be replaced with Crow's J Remote Controlled Anti-Tank Missile System or Anti-Aircraft Missile Launcher. The Ripsaw M5 can also be outfitted with mine detection and IED or Explosive Ordnance Disposal Equipment. Therefore, there are several options for using the M5 with the M2A3 Bradley PMP. The M5 can move ahead of the PMP on the battlefield, securing the vehicle itself and neutralizing IEDs and mines along the way. Once on the front line, the M5 can monitor the enemy. In case of a withdrawal, the M5 can provide cover for the main vehicle. The vehicle can move silently thanks to its electric motors and can march in formation with maneuvering forces. At the same time, the RCVM is much lighter and more economical than manned combat vehicles. One of the goals of the RCV project was exactly to make combat vehicles more economical. Thank you for your attention. Subscribe and watch more on our channel.